you can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. So I made it to civilization, at least somewhat civilization. We're gonna head through this tunnel and see what kind of sets we can make. Be good to have one on either side of the tunnel. So anytime you get to a funnel like this, make a set. So let's go. Well, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. This is just a longer tunnel than most. Stuff like this when you're trapping is what makes it fun. It's not all about the numbers you get and how fast you do it. It's what you enjoy doing. Pretty deep for my boots. Yeah, really deep. I guess I'll have to walk along the edge. It's a little edge here, I can get along that edge. Climb up the bank and make a set. Okay, let's make the tune set. Like I said, these are number 11 Sleepy Creeks. And I just keep a little tension on there, not much, hardly anything, and they have all these swivels. They have a swivel right here, here, and here. So you got triple swivel. The strength is real good, and the jaw, jaw sizes keeps that front paw in there just perfect, and they're not chewing it out. So what I do is I just walnut dye them. Works pretty good. I don't spend any money on dye, and every year I want to dye all my coon and fox. It's always good to carry a screwdriver with to adjust this trigger in case it got bent and it's not laying on your hand right. I can show you how I do that. You just take it right here in that groove right there and pull or pull back depending on how how far away this is. If you want it back further and it's setting in your pan too far then just pull back. So there's nothing to wire in it. Like I said, I use a thicker wire. Don't use that thin wire, it'll snap it pretty easy. And then I find a drag that they're not gonna pull it off of. A lot of times you can you can go over it twice. And that's what I, I'll do here. So they're not gonna drag it anywhere. Just weave it around each other. Looks like because that's very important. You don't want that coon to pull that off your drag. You'll be sick in the morning when you see no trap. Trust me, I've been there before. A lot of times it's hard to even get in because there's so many rocks. Like here, I got a spot. Maybe I can get a hole right here. Maybe I can't choose it sometimes. Solid oh, rock. I got a hole in there, so we'll make that work. When you 
get sod. Keep it in the whole position there. Lay your trap down there. But uh, I like bait holes for coon. The one thing is, you know they're going to stick around. Try to get that unit down in there. See? That's salt. You push on it, it doesn't move. And you just take some leaves, cover up your area there. And right there's your trap. I double bed it just to make sure. And then I take the sardines like I showed you. It seems to be the way to catch them. And high strength fish oil, like extra concentrated. It comes with like three or four of these sometimes. Mostly about three, so I usually take a whole one and put it in. Gives them something to move around. This bait hole right here where we caught the other coon has proven to be a really good set. So now here we got number two. just going to be a good place to keep it. So I'm walking down the creek here. I made a few sets and I got one right along the route here. At first I, I didn't know what to think but there's, there's a coon in here. He's back in there. I'll have to get him out of there. So them roots are good to set. Yeah, let's work on getting this out of here. Looks like I got him in the front call. That's a good thing. I can at least see his face. I can get him. Is that the front call? That ain't a good catch. I think I got the back. And his head's way up in there. This ain't gonna be fun. Come on, King. Get out of there. Maybe we can get him out this way. Get something in there. Now this is a big king, and I barely had him. I had to pull his toe loose. I hope he's dead. I had to shoot him way in, in the back side to pull him around. I had to, I had to let him loose. To get his. I think he's alive. No, he's dead. That's a pretty big coon. So, let's keep moving. We know this ain't a good spot to keep a trap. Now this is my third coon for today. That one that was caught up in the root was a real big one. I'm gonna show you later how it just got caught in the back toes and if I wouldn't have had a small trap jaw, I'm sure it would have bit loose. So but this looks like a good front paw catch. First front paw catch of the day. The other two were rear catches and I don't like them. All right, let's get this king. Got the Rossi and usually keep my bullets in something like this. It's easy to get to. And you always carry extra. You never go without extra.
think I got it. Now that was the same trap we made yesterday by this tunnel. I like to show the traps and what we catch and how to make them. So there's the whole deal. Alright, so I made it back here and wanted to show you just the size of that jaw and the extra laminated jaw on there that held that coon in by the back foot catching a tiger by the tail. I'll tell you, that thing I had to pull loose from the trap to get it out and it was actually out of the trap to move it around in that root system there and I got it finally but this thing was worth it. So this is a nice big coon three coon for this morning and pack work I could carry them back to my vehicle and everything was good